My name is Raja Bratasarkar. I am Professor of Surgery and Physiology at the University of Maryland, and I'm Chief of the Division of Vascular Surgery at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and Chief of Vascular Surgery at the University of Maryland Medical Center. When you think about leg health, there are several vascular problems that can cause you to have what you would think is an unhealthy leg. When you look at people with blockages in the, in the arteries of their legs, it's a nuisance to them. They can't walk as far as they would like, but they're also at increased risk of having a heart attack or stroke. And unless they bring this condition in their legs to the attention of a vascular specialist, the, the other potentially more dangerous things that can happen to them won't be identified and treated. When you see a vascular specialist at the University of Maryland, you're seeing someone who has the ability to diagnose almost any problem without any invasive testing. Almost all of our testing can be done in the office as an outpatient at the patient's convenience. They're painless and they're quick. In terms of treatment, you're seeing someone who has expertise in understanding and treating problems with both arteries and veins. And almost all of that treatment can be done in a minimally invasive manner without big incisions or really any hospital stay. So the reasons that people would fear seeing a doctor for poor circulation really have changed in the past decade or so. And at the University of Maryland, we're using all of the latest techniques on both the venous and the arterial side to help people keep their legs healthy. If you go to a lot of community practices, you are initially screened, particularly a woman with vein disease, is screened by a non-physician, okay? And while some of those folks are excellent, here you will be seen by one of the faculty surgeons. And they will, first of all, talk to you about your problems. One of the most important things is to understand that we don't treat legs, we treat the whole patient. And it's important to look at you, your lifestyle, and how the problem with your legs is affecting your ability to do what we all need to do. So there's gonna, the consultation will start with a history, you'll be examined, and there may be additional testing that can be done in the office, either that day for sort of a one-stop shopping experience, or another day to figure out what is going on. At the University of Maryland, the doctors that are taking care of you are not only nationally recognized experts in their area. They're also doing research to come up with new treatments for your condition. And I'll give you two very quick examples. My laboratory focuses on two basic problems. The first is when someone develops a blockage in an artery, the body's natural response is to grow new vessels around the blockage. Just like if they're working on your street, the maintenance crew will put up detour signs so the traffic can keep flowing down your street, down some other street, while the work is being done. So the body has its own mechanisms to get to deal with a blockage in an artery. And some patients deal with a blockage well and they get adequate flow in their leg, others don't. And my laboratory is focusing on identifying how these new arteries grow and what we can do in terms of drugs, and other treatments to help those new arteries grow around a blockage. Another basic problem, this is on the venous side, is when a patient gets a blood clot in a vein, we give them anticoagulation or blood thinners to prevent that blood clot from breaking off and going to their lungs. Anticoagulation is very effective at doing that, but it doesn't help the clot in the leg heal any faster. So our laboratory is looking to see how do clots heal and what molecules are involved in that healing process and what can we do to stimulate those molecules to help the clot heal faster and help the leg get better quicker. And again, we've identified some key molecules and some drugs that affect them that would hopefully will translate to better care for our patients.